Well, welcome to, well, a big day today. And the day is for some of you guys, you guys are going to get across the Pons Asinorum. And I would Google that for you. Uh, actually, you should Google that to kind of figure out exactly how big of a day today is. What we're at is, is we're looking at, well, you guys have heard it before, the quadru the quadru the quadratic, the quadratic, the quadratic equation, I guess that's how it's saying. Sorry about that being a little tongue-tied, but the quadratic equation. And what it is is basically a shortcut to find out what are the solutions of all quadratics. But in order to use that tool, I like to have you work for it. Um, and it's your choice. Basically what it starts on is that we have a basic equation, 8x squared plus bx plus c equals 0, a standard generic general um, quadratic equation in form. And by solving it through the uh, many tools, completing the square and so forth, you come up to the end of it, which says, well, x, once you find your solutions, your x are going to equal negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And this whole problem is basically using bits and pieces of all the tools you've been building since Math 60. And that's why I think it's such a beautiful problem because we use a little bit of everything. Every tool that we've ever learned how to use in practice will come into play here as we start to learn how to solve quadratics. And quadratics pop up a lot of places in the world. They have modeled lots of ideas. So what we're going to do is, well, how to use a quadratic equation. Well, first of all, again, I encourage you, try to solve and create the quadratic equation yourself. And you can see some helps in the book. The book has a couple of um, practice pages on how they developed it or how they came up with it. And I encourage you to try to follow along because I think it's something you could probably do. Well, let's look at a problem. 8x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. What are the solutions that makes that true? Well, if we just apply the quadratic principle here, the quadratic equation where our first term, our 8, is our a, our 2 is our b, our negative 1 is our c, and we just simply plug it in. I know, kind of anticlimactic. Well, it is only anticlimactic if you haven't solved it for yourself. All right, so we have x equals negative b, negative 2, plus or minus b squared, which in this case is a 2, minus 4, times my a, which is 8, times my c, which is negative 1, all over 2, times my a, which is my 8. So those coefficients, if I plug them into the correct spots, I'm on my way to solving this problem correctly. x equals negative 2 plus or minus 2 squared, which is 4, minus 481, that's plus a 32, all over a 16. Yep, looks right x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 36 all over 16 equals minus 2 plus or minus square root of 36 is a 6 all over 16 and my two answers that I'm starting to shape up here and maybe the best way to do that is I might factor out a 2 first so I have a 2 times a negative 1 plus or minus 3 all over 16. All I was doing is just trying to find a little bit of way to reduce that. A 2 and a 16, that becomes a 1 and an 8. And I'm left with minus 1 plus or minus 3 all over 8. And I probably should go through and try to figure out what both of those solutions are, what the both of those solutions are. Uh, and so negative 1 plus a 3 gives me a positive 2 and 2 over 8. So one solution is 1 fourth. And then negative 1 subtract 3, which is a negative 4, negative 4 over an 8 is a negative 1 half. So there's my two solutions, 1 fourth and negative 1 half. 
I would never have guessed that what is the solutions to this original quadratic equation were those two answers. Good job. Guys, let's practice some more, okay?